making Irish soda bread because tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. It's my grandmother's recipe and I've had it ever since I was a wee little girl. Um, so I hope you like it. It's very easy to make. Much easier than you think, probably. So first things first, I have two tablespoons of butter melting over there in, this, in the toaster oven. And I've got my oven preheated to 375. Okay. So then we're going to start with one bowl, that's all we need, and two cups of flour. You never want your flour to be really like packed into the measuring cup, you just want it light and fluffy. Normally I would sift it too, but because of technical difficulties, it's rather late right now and I don't feel like it. Next we're going to add two thirds of a cup of raisins. Okay, so that's approximately two thirds of a cup. Can eyeball it sometimes, you know, it's just raisins. <laughs> so we're going to mix those together. Pretty simple. Next we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, teaspoon and I would say I'm well I'm using unsalted butter if you're using salted butter I would do, do a little less salt probably maybe half the salt so there's one teaspoon three tablespoons of sugar not a lot right oh and I'm sorry of course the secret ingredient caraway seeds you find it in the spice section we're doing one and a half teaspoons. So this is all our dry ingredients. I'm going to use a whisk to make sure it gets um, evenly distributed. We don't want any like big pockets of air or you know when you like bite into something and you can taste baking soda in it? I want to avoid that. Okay. Now we make a little well in the middle. like a hole. And in the middle we're going to put one cup of buttermilk and the two tablespoons of melted butter. Here goes the one cup of buttermilk. And if you can't find buttermilk in your grocery store, because it's uh, not always available, you can substitute either yogurt or a cup of milk with like a teaspoon of vinegar. Look it up though. And now two tablespoons of butter. So now we're gonna combine this all and then it's gonna form a dough. It's gonna be a little bit sticky, but um, just go with it. Make sure all the flour is getting incorporated into this ball of dough. And before I do this, I have to make sure that our baking sheet is a little bit greased so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Now we get a little dirty. La 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 la! Okay. So I'm just gathering it together, not really kneading it or anything, just making sure everything's together in a slightly ball-like shape. Okay, add this extra. And you know, it's a the bread looks really nice when it's kind of rustic, so you don't even have to make it a perfect ball, just one kind of blob. And then uh, you can like press it down just a little bit. There you go. Actually, I think my grandma used to bake it in a bowl. I don't know why exactly. I just do it on the thing. So there it is. I know you're surprised because it was really easy. But yeah, it's easy. Put that in the oven for one hour at 375 until it's like golden brown, getting a little crispy on the outside edges. 
Here we go. See you in an hour. So here it is, the finished product. Woo, woo, woo. It came out beautifully. I already shared what I already shared some with some friends, and they said it was delicious. So don't take my word for it. Make it for yourself. Happy St. Patrick's Day! If now a thought to what we have in this land of thee.